John, thanks for joining me. Uh, what's the response been like for, from the lads in training after a disappointing result on um, on Tuesday evening? Um, well, the response has been good. Um, I hope it's been good. We're professional. I think uh, the sooner you put a result like that to the back of your mind, the better. Uh, and the beauty of football is you've always got another game around the corner. And uh, we have a great opportunity uh, on Saturday against uh, another high-flying and uh, good team. You've obviously mentioned it there. What, what, what are your initial expectations ahead of uh, tomorrow's match? Expectations? Um, 100% effort. That's the only expectation uh, we, 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 uh, we, we, we want at this moment in time. I think you know, it's, it's, it's uh, clear that we've got uh, injury problems. But the lads that, uh, that have gone out, you know, they've given their all. That's all we can ask for. And that's the same again tomorrow. You know, it's going to be a difficult game against um, a well-balanced team and uh, a, a really experienced team with some really good players in there. But, you know, we'll give 100%. And uh, we've, uh, you know, we've put a game plan together and hopefully we can implement that tomorrow. Salah are unbeaten in the last uh, 14 games and obviously fighting for promotion. Um, what, what's our approach going to be like get going, into, uh, going into the match? Uh, you know, listen, any team, it doesn't matter whether you're the top of the league at Stockport or, or, or wherever. And obviously, they're a high-flying team and, and, and we respect them and we respect what they've done and the managers, what the manager's done there. Um, but, uh, you know, they have their weaknesses like anyone else. And uh, so, we're gonna, we, you know, we've, we've got a few things that we've spotted and hopefully we can exploit that. And um, uh, we, we've certainly got players that can create chances. Even, you know, when we look at the game uh, against Wrexham, we still create chances. And uh, we've got players that can can hurt uh, teams. We know that uh, it's just a case of m making sure that we're, you know, we're tight to out of possession, uh, and we give a decent shape and, uh, and 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 not concede so many sloppy goals. You, you already mentioned it, but what's the uh, what's the injury situation looking like, and what's the squad uh, shaping up to, to, to be like uh, for tomorrow's match? Well, it, uh, it's no better, put it that way. In actual fact, we thought we'd lost one or two more. Um, so you know it's a depleted squad, but you know it is what it is. Uh, um, every team goes through phases this during the season where they they'll lose players or they'll you know have players out Ill, with illness, and uh, we've got both. And uh, it's probably a little bit um, uh, more than than I'd ever seen before in in you know, any club I've been at. You know the the the, the injuries are absolutely frightening and. Um, but we'll get on with it, you know. We'll, uh, we've we've got a team to play out tomorrow, and they'll do us proud. We have picked up some decent results at home in, in the last month or two, obviously against the likes of, of Dover and uh, and, and Boreham Wood. What what do we need to, to do to, uh, to to replicate some of those results at home? Um, well, we need the same same application of as you, some of the games you've just mentioned there. Certainly, Boreham Wood, I think, uh, was was a standout game for us for different reasons, and um, we need that same sort of endeavour. Uh, and that same determination and you know we can keep going on about you know putting square pegs in round holes with regards to our personnel and, and, and players are having to fit in different positions and we're having to play players that are you know not quite fit and all the rest of it but um, you know if we have that same application uh, that same will to win anything can happen really anything could happen and um, you know, as I said to you before, the, 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 we've got players that can hurt teams. So, so you know, we've got to get those players on the ball, and and they've got to perform. Just, just how impressed have you been with the uh, the ad adaptability of some of the players? Obviously, with with their, some of our key players out injured, you know, they're, they're filling in and um, and still trying to do a job for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the response has been fantastic. Really, you know, uh, if, if we take the the, the Rexham game aside. I think the response has been fantastic and, and, and the players are more than willing to take on different positions and, and do a job for the team. And that's all you can ask for, I think. So with that, that, uh, with that in mind, we've been, we've been very happy. How important is it that our home fans continue to, to get right behind us as we look to finish the season strongly? Um, it's really important. You know, I think um, you know, what we want to do as well I mean, we, we want to give them something to cheer about and, and obviously to, to set the tone for, for, for next season. We know we're, it's been a difficult season uh, for all concerned this season, and uh, you know we've we've had some good moments and some bad moments. But uh, it's important that uh, we know that they've got our backs and we've got their backs. So um, you know, and they do make a difference when they're noisy, and we saw that against Bournemouth. They were very noisy, and it really gave us a lift, and uh, I think it just got us over the line. So they're, they're, the part they play is really important, and we appreciate it.